The National Stole Series is presented by Vlad Gardner Aviation Insurance. For all your insurance needs, aviation protected. Legend Aircraft, not your grandfather's cub. Duke Propellers, offering a wide variety of carbon made propellers and rotors. AirTech Coatings, let us show you how we make paint fly. USATrailersDirect.com, find your perfect trailer, we have it all. Your number one source for trailers in the United States. Sarasota Avionics and Maintenance, the number one aircraft avionics installer in the nation. Lift Aviation, leading innovation in aviation apparel and equipment. Rugged Radios, the official communications provider of National Stole. FlightHelmet.com, fly with safety and comfort, leave the noise behind. McFarland Aviation Products, thousands of parts, save thousands of dollars. Flight Outfitters, for all your National Stole gear and apparel. Flying Eyes, specialized sunglasses for pilots, eye pilots. Special thanks to the local community sponsors, Jeff Davis Parish Tourist Commission, Cushada Tribe, ETR Jet Center, Avi Nation, Dispatch Aviation. And now, live from Jennings, Louisiana, here's your host, Ryan Dembrowski and Colonel Matthew Peterson. Welcome to Swamp Stole. Welcome to Swamp Stole 2023. I'm Ryan Dabrowski. And I'm Colonel Matthew <laughs> Peterson. <laughs> the Colonel's here. We're back again. Yes. Very different from the first time. Yeah, let's high five about it. Very different from the first time I was here. It was a little hot. Now look, I'm in three layers. I'm in three layers and I'm still cold, well, folks. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but you notice I've got a very nice jacket here. I'm just going to give yeah, a little you shout look, out. You're looking good today. I'm looking a little underprepared for being a Wisconsinite. But yeah, we're here. Swamp Stole 2023. Swamp Stole Twa. So <laughs> let's talk a little bit about how this works. So we talk a lot about spot landing competitions that's something sure. that pilots do they have Absolutely. spot landing competitions you go to your home airport you fly a little bit and land as close as you can to a line people measure right. how far you land you don't have to stop you just roll through that's cool and that's what i do at my home airport but this is that turned up to like a hundred yes so tell you what why don't we split it in half i'll do the takeoff part and then you tell me the landing part so the Excellent. takeoff part is a little easier that's why i took it <laughs> Competitors will taxi up to that white line you see. You see where the national stole flags are. They'll taxi up to that white line, wait for the go-ahead from the line judge. The air bosses say, yep, go ahead. You'll hear a roar of throttle. It'll be very exciting. All of it. All of, All the throttle. of it. You're, you're putting it to the firewall. The pilots will then commence takeoff, and the goal is to take off as short as possible. That's why it's short takeoff and landing. Line judges and cameras will assess the distance from when those main wheels leave the ground and then they'll enter the traffic pattern, coming back to do the landing. That's right. In that traffic pattern, we decided at the safety meeting that 500 feet would be our maximum altitude. You'll see most of the pilots hanging out around 300 feet. Always with safety in mind, their left-hand pattern out of the grass strip, staying over the runway at all times so that we don't fly over the great city of Jennings, which I just can't say enough good things about. You can hear more about that later on the broadcast. Then they make their left-hand turn, and you use the words commence. Commence. I like that. They commence to taking off. Well, when they make that base to final, they'll come in and they'll commence to landing. And the goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to, one, not scratch. If they land short of the line, it is a scratch. And you will see Lexi Duncan, our line judge, and she'll put her arms like this. Yep, she's just getting in position right now, getting that's ready. right. So that would be a scratch, and you'll see her do that. And then the crowd's going to go, oh, and everybody will be very you know, disappointed, that score won't count. But if they land on the line or just past it, they slam on the brakes, stop that aircraft as fast as they can. I don't think anybody here has a beta prop, so nobody's going to be reversing the thrust on their prop. But they're going to have to use just the brakes and stop as soon as they can, 
And then the judges, the line judges, are all volunteer line judges, are going to measure that distance, and that's their second score. And we add those together. You add those together, that's your total score. Now, now of course, and, and Ryan and I talk about this all the time, there's a lot of mental game that goes on here because if you scratch, your first score doesn't count. So, Ryan, right. if you make a great takeoff and you scratch. Yeah, no go. No go. And here's it doesn't the thing. matter. Every pilot scratches even. You're going to see at the yes. unlimited class towards the end of the day, those greats, those legends yes. of stole. And there's legends of stole in every class. So we do have some highlights from yesterday. Do yeah. we want to take a look at some Let's of that? Let's check out some highlights from yesterday. Everyone, get pumped. Stay warm. The more energized you are in the crowd, the warmer you will be. Let's roll this video. This is the first national stole event. I vowed I would never compete. I'm like, it's not for me. And I still say I'm not competing. I'm in the rookie class, just the most laid back class. There's no regulation on what kind of plane you have or anything else. So the touring class, it used to be just touring airplanes. And now that we've switched around the classes because the 170Bs would always win. So they ended up putting us in the Bush class, which it's a touring airplane. And uh, the word has it, Austin Clemens isn't coming because the Super 170s in his class, because he was pretty scared about the bees. My name is Sean Johnson, flying national stole competition in the Bush class. My name is Justin Tesdell, I'm flying a Xeno 750, flying in the Sports class. My dad and I would always go to events and things like that, and I would always look up and just see people flying, and for me it was something that I dreamed of doing, it something that he dreamed of doing. We grew up like kind of poorish, and uh, he was a cop and couldn't really afford to do that kind of stuff. So uh, after I got out of the military, I started looking at aviation. I was like, man, I, I think I could do that. Wound up completing that dream of his and mine to become a, become a pilot. And anyone can do it. I know if I can do it, other people can do it. You know, I'm gonna be in this new class, uh, the Bush class, so I, I think that's pretty awesome that they think that uh, these bigger four-seater airplanes can compete against these, uh, you know, planes that are three times the price. <laughs> and we are back, back, folks, here at Swamp Stole 2023, part of the National Stole Series. Really excited to be uh, getting ready to start the touring class. Going to show you the lineup here for touring class. First up, almost to the line right there in that beautiful Cessna 205, it's Brandon Korn. Followed behind him, Don Mickey in a Cessna 180. Jeff Abrams in Piperzilla. Get pumped about uh. seeing a Piper Cherokee do some crazy things. And then actually in the same Cessna 180, they flew down together. That's right. Because they're best friends. Uh -huh. Clayton Stansel in the the... Cessna 180 with the red nose with so Don Mickey. I met Clayton three years ago at Gainesville when this whole thing started. And it was really funny when I saw him again three days ago. I looked at him and described to him perfectly his aircraft. Couldn't remember his name. Oh. Couldn't remember his name. I didn't know his, I couldn't remember his name, but I could describe an intimate detail the aircraft that he flew at Gainesville. So that just, you know, where's your focus at? Where's your focus at? So they're going to be released in just a second. Let's talk about the touring class. The classes have changed a little bit this year in 2023. Right. Touring class, these are your Cessna the 180s, 185s, 182s. You got the 206s, the big heavy 205 out there. And then uh, the mall aircraft as well. As well. Let's so that's the, that's the whole touring class that you're going to see. The, the class rework... Uh, I don't know, for a spectator perspective, it's going to be any different for you guys, but for the pilots, it just means that they were reworked based on some of the stats we were getting in on aircraft and pilot That's performance. Correct. So Tom Flannery had three years of data from stole competitions from National Stole, three whole years of it. And then the classes were reworked based off of that data as to what people were actually flying. Um, of course, this caused, you know, here he goes. Nice. nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. It up. 
Pulled it off. Nice. Okay, everybody. Did you see how he pulled it off and then slogged around in ground effect with the wheels just a few inches above the ground? It doesn't matter how far those wheels are above the ground. It counts where the wheels leave the ground. So that was a great takeoff for a 201. For anybody. Even for a 205? For anybody. For a 205. <laughs> okay. So here comes Don. Here's Don Mickey in the 180. Now, Don doesn't pick his tail up at first. Bites. Bites, get that bite. Little there he goes. too soon, but that's all right. He'll tune it up in the next round. But can you imagine having a 180 that you could travel all the way across the country in from California and be able to take that thing off in 225 feet and then load it up with all your gear, maybe your family. It's a true four-seater and go somewhere. And this is a true four-seater that's the fastest aircraft on the circuit right now. A Cherokee 180, Mr. Jeff Abram. Here goes Piper Zilla off the line. He's got to wait for it. He's got so those now, flaps. So Come me, on there, there Piper Zilla. Listen to the crowd. This is great. We love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Nice. They're all cheering People for Jeff Abrams. One. Some encouragement. He came all the way down here from Minnesota to have fun in Jennings, Louisiana. My man, Jeff Pohl, the slacker from Malacca, the dirty bird. Now, I want to go back for a second here. I want to go back. We've got Clayton Stansel okay. getting ready to take off. I want to talk about where he is. Tail up and tail down. Clayton is so smooth. He is so, so smooth. So he's competing in the touring class, yes? Yes, he's in the he's same in airplane touring. as Don Mickey, correct? Well, uh, Brandon, uh, Brandon Korn comes in here. I want to talk about another one of our sponsors, Flying Eyes Optics. Absolutely. They make sunglasses. They're the lightest, most comfortable aviation sunglasses. The other thing I really like is that you can, uh, you can get prescription glasses from them and then throw on some sweet magnet clip-ons instead of those like old clip-ons from like uh -huh. the 80s and 90s. Yeah, my like dad had those. Magnets. Yeah, I maybe had those clip-ons too. My dad too. had those. They were cool. So uh, Flying Eyes Optics, thank you so much for your assistance this season. Really great to have you on board. Here's Brandon right. now. He's coming high. In high. Very he, high. He's coming in nice and high, looking good. Now that's that high angle of attack we keep talking about. Don't think that that 205 can't get that nose up and get all that energy out of that aircraft. This is a big plane. Is a big and with a beautiful paint job. Giving it a here little bit comes. of power. Give it a little power. Watch him and flatten it out. Nice. There we go. Look at that. So he touched down around the 75 mark, and although he's going to have a decent score this time, he's in the books. So he gave up all of that distance from the li scratch line to the 75 foot line to get one in the books. And now that he's in the books, watch the next one. I'm predicting he'll touch down from 25 feet or less to the start line. That's a big psychological thing in this. Yeah, you got to get sport. one in the books. You got to get it in the books first. Here comes Don now. Now coming in a little bit lower. That's there's kind of two different approaches you'll see. Right, you'll get people who come in kind of high, stabilized approach, right. maybe a classic approach, and then folks that'll come in low and hang it on the prop and kind of drag, drag it, in. it in. They'll drag it in. Here it comes. Oh, get oh, it up. Oh, oh okay. okay. All right. That's, That's all a right. scratch. That's a scratch, and that hurts. That hurts because now he's only got two more tries. He's only got two more tries, and if he, uh, if he scratches on the other two tries, he's out. And here, here comes, comes my hero, Jeff Abrams. <laughs> He's I'm, everybody's hero. I'm Let's telling be you real. What, you talk about a wealth of aviation knowledge right there. He knows, well, everything. He was giving me parenting advice last night. Well, so I'm telling you, man. A lot of knowledge. The guy, is the, the guy is the man. And he takes that plane and flies it all over the United States in his retirement, just cutting up. And here he comes. He's got to hold it off, too. Okay, he's Boom, safe. Down he goes. On the brakes. You can see that nose gear just compressing Absolutely. under the braking action. Absolutely. I myself have had nose gear problems, but thanks to Dispatch Aviation, I don't anymore. And uh, a lot of folks chase vibrations around. They chase vibrations around all day, and then they go get themselves a McFarland prop, and they go, ah, okay, that was a problem. <laughs> Look at this. We have Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain Thrill in. Billy. Look, here he comes. On social here comes I love Clayton. this. Speaking Once of loving again, it. smooth. He's so okay, smooth. Yeah, got that whistle. Of how, a, how many hours does everyone Clayton gets so have? quiet when he lands? Thousands. Now, of course, Clayton is a professional jet pilot, ladies and gentlemen. He 
So what's exciting to me about this class, this is one of my favorite classes in National well, Snow. And what's exciting about it is these are all the aircraft that you can, like, go take a place with all yes. your family, all your gear. And actually, in this class, a lot of times you see aircraft like the Piper Cherokee that maybe you trained in. If you were training to become a pilot, you'd train in something like Piper Zilla. And the fact that the Cherokee that I learned to fly in could be doing backcountry flying with the right amount of training, the right amount of proficiency, right. was a mind-blowing realization when I started announcing for National Stoll. That's right. You could you could take that to a lot of grass strips up in the mountains, and they land, they land low-wing Cherokees. Here he goes. So number thirty, the two hundred five, coming in, taking off at about one hundred and twenty-six feet. Folks, for a plane that size, that is outstanding. Here comes Lexi, bring it up, got him. And here comes Clayton and Don in that 180. Let's see if he picks that tail up any. Nope, he's gonna leave the tail down. Here it comes, and now he's gonna slap it down. Up he goes. You can you hear that MT propeller? Absolutely. Just cutting into the air. All, and let's talk about what we really call these aircraft. These are the heavies. That's what we call them on the series, folks. They're the heavies. And they, they carry a lot of people, that stuff and gear, and they land it in the back country. You know that you can go fly fishing up in Arkansas. And here comes Jeff Abrams. He's ramping up. Pulling the flaps out, and off it goes. Got to love those Johnson Bar flaps. If you're not familiar with Johnson Bar, there's like a, a bar that you grab, and you yank on it, and your flaps come out. Let's pop over to touring to see what's going on with, with Clayton. All right. So here comes Clayton again, the smooth operator. Up, down. Easing it off, off there. He did so improve sweet. his run. His second run was 489, so he's still in a solid second place. We have so many airline pilots and fighter pilots, folks, and military pilots who are all on this series who fly enormous jets for work and then do this for fun. Now, here's Brandon Korn looking high looking right now, nice. but he does have a heavy plane that can sink. Yes, he's looking very high. He is he is killing this one. There he goes. Little goose. Oh, little he put goose. in the power. Oh, the power is going to cost him on distance. Him. The power killed him. Every time you pop that throttle and put more energy into the aircraft on final, you're adding to your score. You want that aircraft to run out of energy one foot after the scratch line. So Lexi gives you the thumbs up. That's what you want, the thumbs up. You don't want the, mm, oh, no, er, I messed up. You don't want that. Maybe we should have like a like a... A sad trombone, trombone noise. I, I, I have a trombone. We wah, 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 just learn to learn to trombone the the noise. That would just be it. Here's know? Don Mickey on short <laughs> final now. See him feeling for the edge there. Get that power out. Get that power. Out. Drop those flaps. There nice they go. Bounce. Just totally locked, locked up. up. Totally like, locked up. Like I cannot up. believe how far we're sliding today on the on this turf. And I love that whistle, that MT prop whistle that it McFarland really Aviation provides them for folks. It's just that MT whistle, that little. Almost, oh, I shouldn't whistle on the mic. That probably sounded all, really bad. Someone's laughing at me over there. She's like, "That was a horrible sound." <laughs> Sorry, crowd. Almost all of the heavies run MT props, especially the heavy tail draggers, like Warren Grobelar, who we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. And here comes Jeff. A here comes Jeff Abrams. Get that power out, Jeff. A little nice. bit long on the landing there. I want you to notice, he's not scared to just plant that Cherokee. And uh, that's just a little more than 300 feet. He's scoring in the 600s today, folks. It is it's really nice bougie. inside. That trailer is incredibly it's, bougie. It's got the LED lights on the ceiling. 24 foot walk on yeah. production really nice. facility. I mean, got should we even call it a open? I'm going to call it a production facility from here on out. I mean, it's even got like a, a door that opens onto the field. It's incredible. By the way, that's USA Trailers Direct. Thanks so much. All right, here we go. Clayton Stansel. Look at that. Got smooth again. Smooth again. I think Clayton's going to beat Don on this one. He Well, he, he already did. Yeah, by two feet, though. But I think now he's, I mean. No, I, he's ahead. He's ahead now. He's The, the second run was 489. Now, coming out of the first run, we had Brandon Korn 
actually the shortest in the 205 with 384 feet. Don Mickey was DQ'd that first round, and uh, we had 582 for Jeff Abrams. The second run, the big change that happened, Don Mickey on the board. He's a contender. Now he's in second place with 507. That's right. Didn't see improvements from Brandon or Jeff on that no. second run. They actually were both longer. Wonder what the wind's doing. Let me has pull up changed? the METAR. Yeah, let me check so and we, see. So we have to question whether or not the, the wind has changed in velocity or direction. Um, I course, mean, they the also wind, could have just made a mistake. That's also true. Well, th that's also that. And, you know, we find that a lot of these airline pilots who fly thousands and thousands of approaches, it's all about repeatability with a professional commercial pilot. Here goes Brandon Corn. Oh, what? dragging the tail. What is going on? <laughs> That now, was a nice one. Now, folks, if you notice, Brandon has like a little piece of metal to protect the tie-down loop on his tail, and he hit it on the ground. He came, he gave it everything he could give then. I can't wait to see what that takeoff score was. That was great. Don's lined up. Now, Don flies a little bit different than a lot of our tail draggers. He doesn't pick his tail up, and uh, he's thought about it, and that's his style. Tail up. Tail down, tires up, good. Look, do you see his tail bounce twice? Isn't that interesting? So, so he put it down and then picked it up. You'll see out there the uh, the scorer with the rugged radios. That's my son Andrew out there calling the scores back into the booth. And here comes Jeff Abrams. Throttle up with the Piper Zilla. You don't need a super Very cup. Clean, you just need clean. a Piper Cherokee. Absolutely clean. That is hard to beat. And a Cessna 205 in his best run this afternoon, 298. That's yep. just that's bonkers. Yep. I've been saying bonkers a lot today. Here's Clayton Stancil. Here's Clayton coming up. And he's off. Daniel DeSalvo, excellent production. Thanks for making this live. Standing by to fly in JFK Wishing. I was at Swamp Stole. Daniel, we wish you were here as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much. One of our great sponsors here is Dispatch Aviation of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Smith, Thomas, and Larry and the boys there at the shop actually do my annual every year. I trust them with my aircraft, and you should too. I've had countless problems with my 1957 Cessna because it's built in 1957 and I fly it in the Stoll series so I'm putting it in pretty hard use. They've rebuilt my front shock two and a half years ago and I've not had to put a pound of nitrogen in since. This year at annual I got a new cylinder and picked up a little horsepower so uh, I have had nothing but great experiences with those guys there and they were kind enough to sponsor the breakfast here at Swamp Stoll and feed everybody with the help of our local EAA chapter with, with President Barry TJ. So we've been very lucky to have great sponsors here on the National Stoll Series, Dispatch being one of them. Can I talk about another one real quick? You mentioned your son out there with a rugged radio. Absolutely. Rugged radios, they got a background in off-road racing, motorsport racing, but they're also just really dependable communication in any environment. They're helping our air bosses, our line judges, our staff, they all communicate on Rugged Radio. So thank you to Rugged Radios very much for their support. And also USA Trailers Direct, you look next to us, this big white trailer. It's where all our broadcast communication stuff happens. They're the official trailer sponsor of National Stoll. Here they provided that for us. Here's Brandon. Brandon, nice one. Digging he, the tail in a little bit. Look, he's picked up mud. He's got mud packed in his tail hook. Nice. <laughs> it's falling out. The mud is falling out of his tail hook. Well, what? it's not a tail hook. His, his tie-down protector. His tail hook. No, you're right. It, well, it was a hook, hook. A little bit briefly, yeah. He dug mud with his, with his tie-down protector, and then the mud is falling off of his tie-down protector after he comes to a stop. That, that's amazing, folks. Now, he could take that aircraft, load it up with his entire family and all their gear, and go out to Montana. Uh, lately, folks have been flying in Idaho. That's Steve Henry country. Beautiful, beautiful country up there. And you could also take that aircraft, load up your entire family, fly to D.I.'s Cajun Restaurant just a few miles north of here. And here comes Don. Get that get that nose up. Get that. Oh, stop putting power okay, in, Don. Okay, well now he's just 
He's he's gone long. Now it did yeah, the safe thing. Long. Did the safe thing. But you know that's okay. That's okay. That was that was coming in. He had good angle of attack. He was looking really good. Maybe hey, on. John, can you put a safety vest on for us? Thank you. So we've got uh, we've got local media out here. So good to see Dion. We're getting them hooked up with a safety vest so that everybody can see her. Let's check and that. I'm here we go, Piper Zilla now coming in for the third run. Jeff Abrams looking to make up some distance here. Brandon Corn right. healthily in front of him right now by over 200 feet. Oh yeah, it is. It is very hard for a low wing to beat a high wing. It has happened. And this is the man who's done it. He's got a beautiful approach coming in. Boom. Energy's out. Plane is down. Brakes are locked up. Look at the turf flying. You know, I got a lot of respect for a man who's willing to run wheel pants on turf like he ain't this. Scared. He ain't scared. Jeff is not scared. I don't think anything scares him. Way to fly that Cherokee, Jeff. Piperzilla's number one fan. Great to have you in the stream here. On, Here's Clayton, Clayton Stancil now. Coming in a little hot compared to his previous approaches had a little more speed in there that time but he's got it he's got it and he's got his score in the books when it's time to recover and paint your fabric covered aircraft look no further than air tech coatings since 1982 our FAA approved system provides you with a shiny durable easy to apply product. The AirTech system has fewer steps than any other product on the market today, saving you both time and money. While using cutting edge technology, we offer a wide range of products. Whether it's for work, play, antique, or aerobatic, we have you covered. Remember, we make paint fly. Let's go back then. I want we were talking a little bit about day one because this what every one of these events is a bit of an adventure for all the competitors and all the people who come and help put it on. There's countless people that put this event on, and so day one. I think we have a video package we can roll that shows a little bit about how day one kicked off earlier this week. We do, and I want to bring this up. This is something that's really important to all of us at National Stoll. We come from adventure flying, right? We come from backcountry playgrounds, and we found that there was an opportunity to take that to the public at an airport like this. But that doesn't mean that the adventure flying stopped, right? A bunch of our pilots got together, and they said, let's go fly to a beach that's never been flown to before. Check it out, guys. Roll the tape for the pilots adventuring together. And we are back and we're staying warm because the stole action is getting hot here at Swamp Stole National Stole 2023 season. It's time for the touring class, Matt. We've got Brandon Korn in that Cessna 205. We've got Don Mickey in the Cessna 180, which maybe he'll just give me. Maybe he'll just give me that plane. Jeff go. Abrams in the Piper Cherokee. We talk a lot about the accessibility of that. And then actually in Don's plane, 
Quaint and Stancil, two That's friends, right. flew together, sharing the expense and the plane. Brandon Cord coming out loud. Oh, oh. oh wow! Look at that ninety foot takeoff in a two oh five. How's that even possible? Oh man, I was I mean, so excited. I I think you, I, inhaled, got I inhaled a crawdad. Are you okay, buddy? I'm I think fine. Be, all right. I'm gonna be okay over I think here. Be okay, Nobody man. be scared. I'm fine. Don hey, Mickey now on Don the line. Mickey. Brandon Corn in that 205. He's been putting in work since last season. No question. It's just amazing. Huh. Don, Don Mickey just kind of going for it. That was interesting. So. He's taking off in about 240 feet. He's not doing any technique. It's all power. I mean, he never picked the tail up. He never slicked the plane out. He just kept the leg, kept the yoke back and, and used all power. Now, you want to talk about a lot of technique. That's with this Jeff Abrams fella right here and Piper Zilla. You know, that plane's been through multiple motors. Here he goes. Jeff Abrams and Piper Zilla dropping those flaps, yanking it up. There he is. So, <laughs> waiting for it to come off two there bounce. a little bit. A two bounce departure. Let's There's see. We've the, got the crowd. We still have the tension of the crowd. Everybody's watching. The scores don't count. So, if you want to try something new, you could try that. <laughs> Speaking of trying something new, AirTech Coatings. How's that for a total non sequitur that's, transition? Oh, no, AirTech Coatings, our, friend Air, our friends at AirTech Coatings, we talked about them this morning. Just making, they make, they, they make paint fly. That's their, that's their kind of motto there. And the thing that's blown me away seeing some of the AirTech covered and coated aircraft. I mean, Robbie Stanton, the, the that's owner right. of AirTech, he has a personal aircraft that literally looks like it's wet all the, like freshly all out of the booth yeah. all the time i've not seen aircraft that beautiful so air tech coatings check them out look them up if you're covering an aircraft painting an aircraft they're worth they're worth the time uh, to investigate so air tech coatings we appreciate their support they uh they've really stepped it up for us this year legend aircraft you're going to see later we'll talk about legend aircraft here comes Brandon Corn now. Coming in with a nice high angle of attack. Getting that nose up. Nice long pull. Brakes all locked up. A little bit of brake fade on the right there. I think so. I think he is suffering a little brake fade here towards the end of the day. Then coming right behind, behind him, Don Mickey, in his beautiful 180 that they flew out here from the West Coast, he and Clayton. Don Mickey, a uh, little bit of trivia, has a, a nice printing business, prints up a lot of the graphics for the uh, National Stole Series. Stickers, things like did, that. Did my feather flags right here for Swamp Stole. And a scratch. And a scratch for Don scratch Mickey. Scratch for Don oh, Mickey on that shame. one. That's a bummer for him. And long, uh, high and to the left, we've got Piper Zilla coming in, which will give me time to talk about lift aviation. I don't know if folks noticed, in the area where you can find the merchandise here at Swamp Stole, I believe they have one of the coveted lift helmets. Now, folks, you can't see it, but a bird dog is on climb out. Right here to uh, Ryan and I is 10 o'clock, showing off that impressive performance of the L4 Bird Dog. We were glad to have him on the field today. And off he goes. And you know, I want a bird dog just so I can park in the Warbird section at Oshkosh. I'd love to have a bird dog. Here's Piper Zilla now. Jeff Abrams. And as Safely. always, Jeff coming in solid, just digging a, digging a furrow. Ah, plow in the field. On a day like today, do you have to do a lot of repair on the field here, or does it is it kind of absorb it's it? Here's uh, the Clayton Clayton Stancil coming in. 
How beautiful. 180. I know, and look at how he's look at man. So this, like, just so controlled. I know. He's got to get so that stick back. There we go. Digging up, man. We are digging up that specific part of the runway really hey, well. Hey, like 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 Dwayne's listening, man. Don't 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 say that. Well, he knows it's on TV. <laughs> it's on TV, man. Everyone knows we're digging up the runway a little. The field really repairs itself. As a matter of fact, I think I see Keith going. And he's got a divot there. He's gonna he's gonna go and repair the divot like on a golf course, you know, or maybe just pick the divot up and get it off the. Well, field. you gotta keep no foreign object debris, right? We gotta be careful That's about. That's right. Well, well, the nice thing about a a uh, crop duster grass strip is it gets lots of fertilizer, and this summer they'll they'll have to cut this thing a lot to keep the grass down. Things grow here quickly. You hold still, and the jungle will come and get you. So, you know, they're going to be out here and they'll roll it and fertilize it. And by the end of the summer, you won't even be able to tell that, that anything's even happened here. That you won't be able to tell that, that we came out here and even, had a, and even had a competition. So here goes that. No. I'm just checking to see if there's uh, any traffic that the air buses are be, waiting we for. We might be waiting on traffic. Uh, there's, you know, now that the competition is over... Uh, the scored part of the competition, and folks have had themselves some gator on a stick. I can see that, you know, folks are starting to, to drift out. Oh, well, um, Here's Heli Pilot, by the way. Go, go Piper Zilla. Zilla. Watch, Watch it from a rainy Florida. There you go. Jeff Abrams and I were talking about how much fun it is to fly from Louisiana to Florida and make that Emerald Coast run all the way down the Emerald Coast. Whoa, dragging the tail on the way out. Yep, he had a little bounce after. Jack Klein has got it. In the event of a bounce like that, we measure from the last time the wheels touched the correct. runway. The very last time for the wheels touching the ground. Here's Don Mickey on the line now. See, he's cheating. We can see from the line. It's not cheating, actually. Cheating into the wind. He's right. His right main is on the wheel. Left main's a little ahead because he's trying to get as much wind on the nose. Here he goes. So, an interesting note. That was a good, clean takeoff by Don Mickey. Another, uh, another interesting note. You know, if you have a tire and it's a little before the line, it penalizes the pilot. Correct. We will let you pull down and turn around and come back and reset. But it doesn't actually, it only injures you. So it is in your best interest to pay attention to Lexi and let her pull you up to the line exactly correctly. And there goes Jeff Fabrams, ladies and gentlemen, and Piper Zilla. Uh... That's yep. just, that's bonkers. Yep. I've been saying bonkers a lot today. Here's Clayton Stancil. Here's Clayton coming up. And he's off. Brandon Korn coming in now. High and to your left. First takeoff, 90 feet with the DQ. Second takeoff, 108 feet. Let's see what he does on the landing. The current standings for this chunk of competition, uh, well, actually, we're only, we're only one in, so it's hard to say. But remember previously, Brandon Korn in first place with 333 feet in a combined in a Cessna 205. So that's whoa. really good. He's going to land a little long on this one. But imagine, folks, now that is a 205. I want you to imagine you take your whole entire family plus luggage, and then you find yourself a nice grass strip up in the mountains of Montana or Wyoming or Idaho. It's just a gorgeous backwoods flying in Idaho. Um, or you just want to take your whole family out to D.I.'s Cajun Restaurant just north of here, about 12 miles, and you're, or you're making a cross-country and you want to stop and get some really good Cajun food. You can do it 
in this aircraft. You can land on any kinds of grass strips, unimproved strips. You've got it opens up your options. You've got all sorts of options that you can do. And and the same thing for this 180 with Don Mickey. You can fly your whole entire family and land in the mountains on a grass strip. Very nice landing for Don Mickey, locking those brakes up. You know, and I got to give credit. Uh, if you want to look for interesting backwoods flying, that's that's a great place to get started on backwoods flying. You go to Fly Oz. Um, they're part of the the Arkansas system up there. They're uh, them and Arkansas all up there in Arkansas. Uh, they're not part of Arkansas, but they they have a lot of grass strips that you can use that are all up in the Ozarks of Arkansas. And uh, there's even places you can land your plane, get out, and fly fish. That sounds amazing. That, that, doesn't it? it? I mean, that was just something I'd love to do. And if you're Jeff Abrams, you could do it in your Cherokee. Safe over the line. Nice. That's nice. Really compressing that, that front gear leg. Yes, indeed. Fly that Cherokee, Jeff. Piperzilla's number one fan. Great to have you in the stream here. On, Here's Clayton, Clayton Stancil now. Coming in a little hot compared to his previous approaches. Had a little more speed in there that time. But he's got it. He's got it, and he's got his score in the books. These competitions, this is where you find out what the aircraft really can do. And here comes Katie Wado with mud on her airplane. Katie Wado in the doodle clipper. That's right. And Michael Lindstrom coming up behind her. Michael Lindstrom loves yoga pants is what that airplane says. I've seen him wear them, so I'm sure that's exactly what that's referencing. You've, you've seen him wear yeah. yoga pants. It's, that's what it must be. He really loves yoga pants is what it says. It must be about okay. how comfortable he finds them. All right. Okay. Here's Brandon Korn. Wow, look at that. I don't think... 85 foot takeoff in a 205. That is incredible. Do you think, I mean, maybe folks in the crowd, like, it's hard to tell how big that airplane is. It is, yeah, gi that it's is a, a giant massive general aviation aircraft. airplane. Like, it's just really big. That is a massive aircraft. And it's, it's carrying capability, you know, just amazing. There's Don Mickey on the roll. There goes Don. There we go. Nice, Dropping aggressive. that right wing a little bit. Nice, He's got it sorted out, though. Yeah, nice aggressive pull by Don Mickey. And here comes Jeff for his, his last go-round. There he goes. He's going to get those flaps, those up. Look at that. That's actually uh, really nice. It looked very smooth and controlled. For his last run. Waiting for it to come off Too there. You know, somebody asked me. They said, "Man, you've you've put together this, you've put together this flying competition. This is, this is great. You know, how did you do it?" And they ask all these questions, and I say, "Well, first off, you are assuming I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's all about the team. It's all about folks like Jeff Davis Parish Tourism and the mayor's office and and the city of Jennings. They're the ones who make all this come together." Without them, this just wouldn't happen. Let's see if he can get that energy out. Oh, he's off floating. Yeah, lost about 70 feet there just before touching down. But look at the ruts he's digging. I know, I know that is incredible. But look, we're gonna throw some, we're gonna throw some fertilizer on that, and it is gonna grow over that so fast. I'm convinced in the state of Louisiana, if you just held still, the jungle would come get you. Oh yeah, I carry a chainsaw for personal defense. You that know, makes sense. Yeah, I heard that the, the, the vegetation can be aggressive. It, it is very aggressive. Um, you know, I cut trees down at my home airport 
all the time. It is a constant battle to keep the trees out of the approaches. Get out of the way, trees. I know. I know. Those trees, they just grow in the way. And, you know, trees and airplanes just do not mix. Don Mickey. With Uh-oh, a scratch. With a scratch. With scratch a on his last one. Scratch. But look Save at the, the slide. Save the brakes. Nah, Don. he's going to just see what he can do. Well, you know, there is a prize for most consistent, but that would have come in the first three. So, Well, we okay. uh, we wait for Jeff Abrams here in Piper Zill. want to talk about a couple other sponsors. We've got Lad Gardner Aviation Insurance. Man, you want to aviation protected, you go to Lad Gardner, you yeah. see their flag out here. Everyone that I know that's dealt with them just loves them. Very professional, taking good care of their pilots. So, Lad Gardner, appreciate your support there. We've also got to talk about Duke Propellers. Absolutely. And we'll talk about them after this landing. And here comes Jeff Abrams. Very nice. That was sweet. That Look was at like his brakes really? locked up. His mechanic must really have those brakes tuned in. Man, those poor wheel pants are just going to be chock full of mud. You know what? He is not scared. Here's uh, is it Clayton? Clayton Stancil coming in. How beautiful 180. I know, and look at how he's look at man. So this just like, so controlled. I know. He's got to get so that stick back. There we go. Digging up, man. We are digging up that specific part of the runway really I, well. I, like 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 Dwayne's listening, man. Don't 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 say that. Well, he knows it's on TV. <laughs> It's on TV, man. <laughs> Everyone knows we're digging up the runway. Well, thank you so much for the volunteers and our sponsors. Let's go through them one last time. U.S. Trailers Direct, Air Tech Coatings, Legend Aircraft, Lift Aviation, Lad Gardner Aviation Insurance, Duke Propellers, FlightHelmet.com, Rugged Radios, Sarasota Avionics, Flight Outfitters, Flying Eyes, and then for Swamp Stoll, BTR, McFarland Aviation and MT Propeller, Dispatch Aviation, the Jeff Par- Jeff Davis Parish Tourism Commission, that's a lot of syllables, yes. and the Cushata Tribe. All these people, including the volunteers, the staff at National Stoll, made this all happen. And the most important person who made this happen was you at home and you in the stands. We can't thank you enough for being here and be a part of this, especially on what turned out to be a little breezy, a little chilly day in that's Jennings, nice. Louisiana. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Check Matt out uh, on the socials. He's always doing crazy stuff. Check me out on the socials. Uh, Super Arrow. Check me out. I've got an interview show on YouTube, all that stuff. You can see even more aviation nerd stuff between the two of us. We don't just only do this. We do other stuff. Hit us up. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Fly safe. We'll see you in a month.